Hello everybody, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Adam and uh, this is the first of many videos that I hope to show everybody and hopefully they help in some way, shape, or form. I figured I'd do a series of videos to help you create a WordPress website designated for radio station owners. A lot of people use WordPress for the radio station site. So this is going to be a series on how to help you through that, some of the features that I use and things that you want to include and how to do that. So it's going to be quite a long tutorial. We're going to break it up into different pieces on different sections on how to do things. This part of it is going to be kind of just the uh, tidbits, if you will, that uh, little sections and little things you're going to need to know and have and uh, what's right for you and what you need to know before you start. So first things first, uh, you know, WordPress is a great platform. It's really well for radio stations. Um, there are many thousands of free themes. I'm going to recommend, recommend one rather. It's called Asteroid. And that's the one I was going to start using with my station. I own a few stations. So, just for an example of this series, I'm going to install this, and you can do this along with me as well. If you do not want to do this and you want kind of uh, us to custom design this for you, we do offer a service of that. And uh, we have monthly plans or yearly plans that we can set up your site for you and get it all up and working for you and uh, to your liking. So, of course, each site that we do is branded around the station. So, okay, let's have a look uh, so you can get a general idea of the theme. Obviously, the theme is uh, generally nothing yet. It's just kind of a basic thing. And if you've ever created a WordPress site, you know that starting off, you got to adjust some little things. Uh, you know, you got to go through little settings and, and get things working to where you want. So an example of that, uh, the first thing I usually do is uh, I have a look at the control panel. This one is great because it has uh, what I call uh, a secondary control panel. When I say that, I mean it has its own link here for the control panel. So it has a theme inclusive control panel rather than uh, nothing and you have to go to customize. I like it when it's got its own control panel. It's just a lot easier. First thing I do is have a peek around here and just see, uh, you know, what the options are, how much customizability, customizability, how much uh, customizing it will allow you to do on this theme. And this one is excellent. I've been through it. I've looked around. It lets you do enough customization that's perfect for radio, and it'll let uh, you do what you kind of want for radio. And again, if this isn't something you feel comfortable doing, uh, I'm going to show you through these tutorials, but if not, we do offer service that I can design these sites for you and uh, yeah, around your station and they'll look pretty well. Either way, this set of tutorials is going to be helpful and it'll uh, show you how to do a number of things, again, for using WordPress with your online radio station, podcast, or FM station for that matter. So again, the first thing I usually do is uh, I create my pages. So I know that I'm going to want to have a home page. Uh, by default, WordPress automatically uh, sets your home page to the about page, which obviously is the only page there is. So let's create a home page. Uh, let's add another page for contact. And add a couple more here just to start off. Of course, you can always add as many as you want, unlimited. Uh, let's say, I guess... Uh, on air maybe like a lineup of who's on air when they are podcasts and whatnot there's that um, maybe um, what's another one I could do maybe news or something like that or personalities or something you know that's good enough to start us off this is the tricky part a lot of people have trouble making the menus so with any new WordPress site you want to go appearance so I'll just do this to show you and this is a brand new install for my development uh, just to show you how I do this this is again a tutorial on how to use WordPress with radio stations so appearance menus uh, it's not much in here yet so what you want to do is essentially create a menu so name this menu so you can name it anything you want I usually know I may name mine primary or primary top for this example or main or you know so I'll name this primary main I'm going to create the menu and you'll see by default WordPress has placed all of the created pages under this but sometimes in most cases you want to rearrange these uh, this is the default one that WordPress generates I'm going to delete that uh, so I usually like having home at the beginning of your menu as do most of you probably and contact at the end so save the menu that's the order you're saving now if you refresh the site it's there however the reason it's not in the order we placed is because we didn't set it to this area to do that you gotta go manage locations 
and this is saying uh, what do you want as the primary menu so it's going to list a drop down to all the menus you created there's our primary click save changes once you do that we'll refresh and you'll see that it's in the order we created uh, yeah so that's basically how you do that the second thing I usually like to do is kind of just explore some of the options uh, and, and layouts and page stuff like that uh, then I look into logo uploading a lot of themes out there don't allow you to upload a logo uh, and that's something I kind of try to keep away from just because obviously if you have a radio station site nine times out of ten you're gonna have a logo but anyway uh, to do that uh, you're gonna want to go to asteroid options and you want to go to header logo so you would find a logo I'm not I don't have one right handy uh, but I'll see if I can find one for an example um, do, 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 let's see um, let me see here okay well here's my hits 93.9 logo I'll just try to use that okay so um, with WordPress it allows you to upload it anything you upload goes into the media library it's always there within your site uh, so we'll import this as medium because we don't want a huge we'll import this and we'll go down to or up to save uh, obviously it's probably going to need to be worked out a little bit to fit right now nah, that's a little bit large uh, so again WordPress has a really well and really good media library now a lot of people don't know is that it actually has a little bit of an editor in it as well so you can edit these images right on here when you're in the image area so let's say you're back here you're in your media library obviously you're going to probably have a lot more images because this stores all images you upload content that stuff click on the image click edit image and this is where WordPress is really useful it's got a little editor you don't have to worry about going back into whatever your major logo and edit so for this example I made this logo a thousand by a thousand nice and large um, but to fit up here it's got a lot of white around it so what I'm gonna do is crop that white out so just click on the area you see uh, I, I had a little bit of trouble figuring this crop function out at first but you don't click this first you click this and uh, go around the area when you got your area crop that you want then click the crop button that's gonna crop it down to a smaller size like we like click save that's gonna save that drop out of here now uh, because we recrop that we need the new location of the image so we'll grab this this isn't automatically gonna update because it's it's referring to the old main logo that we didn't update so let's go back here and we'll paste the updated logo in there and there we go let's go I keep forgetting some things have the save button at the bottom others so let's refresh and that's a little bit too big um, so there is a little bit of uh, stuff you can do to make that smaller obviously yeah we're gonna make this smaller so let's go back here and let's go back and do the media library once again let's go edit image uh, that's way too big a thousand by 420 or 482 let's make that about 300 by 145 so that'll keep its proportions so it doesn't get smudged or s squished or anything you know uh, so there's the new side that should look perfect up there uh, so let's go back again let's copy the location of the editable image the reason uh, I keep copying this is because every time you make a change to this in the WordPress editor here uh, it's gonna change this URL to the edited one so we'll copy that go back to asteroid options take that one out put the new one in go up remember that time and click save and let's see what it looks like there we go that was pretty good now um, a lot of people like to put uh, a banner here for example uh, if I go to my radio site hits 939.com which was that logo is from uh, I have a banner up here a lot of the times people put artist images up here and that's what I did so here's an example of that I'm not using the same theme but here's an example of that uh, so up here we have artist images slogan it looks really well I like having the navigation menu directly below that's just the way I like it so you may want to do that uh, so that's uploading your logo next thing you're probably gonna want to do is uh, start to upload some of your content uh, you know fill in some of your pages uh, and another thing you're gonna want to do uh, as well is uh, make sure in, in nine times out of ten you're one gonna do this when people come to your website uh, they see this nine times out of ten now the reason people have been having trouble with this is um, because you're saying well how come I can't edit this page if you go to any other page there's an edit page button 
Now, this is a little bit of a tricky, not tricky, but people find it tricky. And this is one of the things that people seem to uh, have a little bit of trouble with. WordPress automatically uses the page that came with the builder, which is the about page that came with the builder, and it automatically puts it as the uh, it automatically puts it as the static page. Now, the static page is the page that's going to come up when you go to the main URL. So, let's change that. So, again, to reiterate on that a little bit and make it more, I guess, concrete, um, this page here, when you go to the main URL, the static page is you're going to set to where you want to go and where you want your visitors to go when they first come on your site so essentially you run a home page now the issue with WordPress is when you do that by default it sets its own page up listing your page posts we don't want that either so if you do want that that's kind kind of cool too but mine this is what mine looks like uh, I have a setup page specifically so let's go back here uh, to change this you're gonna wanna go to customize that's going to load up. There'll be an option around the bottom or at the bottom. That's a static front page. So let's go here. And to, for this example, when people go to the main site here, I want them to see the home page, which will have nothing on it yet because we didn't develop it. So let's go static front page. And as you can see, by default, your static posts or your latest posts rather are picked. That means that it's automatically going to put latest posts when they go to this URL. We don't want that. We want a static page, front page. We want home. Uh, there you go. So now when people visit the site, when I reload and finish saving this, it'll automatically take them to the home page and it'll show whatever you have on that page. Now for posts page, I'm going to put that as news just because of the fact that uh, that's where we do want our post. If we post a news or blog entry, of course you could name news or blog, whatever you want. So let's save this and we'll reload and show you what you mean. So before the user would go here, this would show up. Let's uh, reload and now as you can see it's highlighting the home link uh, and nothing's on the home link because we didn't add nothing in yet but we will anyway that's gonna wrap it for this partition of the tutorial stay tuned for the rest this one's kind of just a general idea installing themes and a little bit of a start for you so I hope you enjoyed it if you didn't enjoy it that's okay too but I'm sure there's somebody out there that does appreciate it and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial again my name is Adam